It's Local Edition, I'm Brad Palmer, and thanks again for joining us. Our guest is Jim Hogaboom. He is the superintendent for Lucia Mar Unified School District. If you live in that district, you should listen to this because something very exciting is happening. A new high school is opening called New Tech High. Tell us about it. Thanks. Yeah, we're really excited about it. New Tech High is going to start in the fall of 2012 with about 150 students. And it really is a, uh, a, a school for the 21st century with project-based learning and integrated classes and it's lot of interesting. Technology. Today, I took my niece to visit Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Uh -huh. She's a junior in high school, and they talked about their philosophy of learn by doing. Mm -hmm. And then I read the notes that you provided me, and that's the philosophy of New Tech High. It is learn by doing. It is. Tell it's, us what that means in practice. What it means is kids have a context for their learning, so it's not enough just to learn, you know, the fundamentals and the core curriculum. I think students want to know how am I going to use this? How is this applied in the real world? So what New Tech's going to do is give them that context. It gives them a problem and says, hey, you're going to need to work mostly the time in teams and solve this problem and go out and apply it. When you say New Tech, is it a school for science, computers, or not necessarily? It's just the school is technologically advanced. Yeah, it's really technology to support the curriculum. So okay. it's Central Coast New Tech High, and it's one of about 87 New Techs right. across the country. And seven in California, is that right? Right, right. And so you're one of the first ones in this great state. Talk to me about the success that New Techs have had throughout the nation. Yeah, well, they've got a terrific college going rate. Uh, part of what New Tech does is puts kids in internships and has them take community college classes while they're in school. Nice. So they start learning that college going mentality and work habits and all that while they're there. So they really want, you know, we know kids need to move on to a four year um, college oh, yes. and that's what they, they're really very successful at So that. in order to be part of this first class, do you need to live within Lucia Mar? I said that in the beginning, but is that accurate? Well, we're gonna, op well, we wanna open it to our students first. Okay. And then we're hoping there'll be room for some people from outside the our, our district boundaries to come in as well that'd be great okay well let's talk about how you can apply right it's so um, we're having information nights um, and then our deadline to apply is January 12th and you go online centralcoastnewtech.org and and learn and and there are and, no essays no and it's not an application where you're being judged it's simply a lottery right it's that simple right new tech is supposed to reflect the population of our district we might do some balancing for male females but other than that we just want people who want to go to that school. So all you need to do is be an incoming freshman? That's right. Now, at a lot of schools, I think I spoke with the Green Academy in Atascadero, uh -huh. what they have done is they start in ninth grade and then they go ninth, tenth, right. ninth, tenth. Is that That's what exactly what we're going to do. We'll start with ninth graders and build it up out to, to seniors. So talk to me about how this happened. I mean, it really looks just off the hook, if I may use a kid for the phrase. <laughs> it looks just amazing. I wish I could go. Yeah, well, it really started when our board wanted a vision for our school district. We hadn't had one in a long time, and part of that vision is we went out and tried to to find out best practices you know we're in tough times but we knew that there were some districts and some schools doing some great things so went down to Los Angeles went up to Napa and that's where we first saw Napa New Tech mm -hmm. High and so um, we've seen IB schools we've been down to San Diego and we're, we're doing an IB school as well but that you know it's like we can go ahead and do something meaningful now the reality is is that all public schools are facing fiscal crises mm -hmm. because of the state's funding budget uh, the, right. the, 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 their funding gaps and so I'm wondering I mean how did how are you able to do this right in the midst of budget cuts yeah well we get that question all the time and really I think that is a challenge over time is how do we move forward with innovative ideas in the midst of this budget situation so we've really been innovative we have a new CMR foundation for innovation mm -hmm. they're raising a huge amount of money to help us out uh, we just found out this week that we're getting a um, a big donation from a local company that wants to remain anonymous right now. But Fair we enough. really have to rely on the community to help us okay. out. Okay, his name is Jim Hogaboom, superintendent of Lucia Mar Unified School District. Very excited about the opening of New Tech High in Napomo. If you want to apply and you're going into ninth grade, you have to file your application by January 12th. I'm Brad Palmer, it's back to HLN. <laughs>